Hi guys. So we often get asked, do we need an LED profile or an LED extrusion? And if we do, which one should we use? Well, here is what the LED strips can look like. This is 120 LEDs per meter type. As you'll see, you can see the dot effect on the strip. But if the LED strip is, you cannot actually look at the LED strip directly, then there is no need for an LED extrusion or an LED profile. So for example, if the LED strip was in a coving and the coving was shining upwards and there was a slight lip on the coving so you can't directly see the LED strip, then there is no need for an LED profile. The profiles are not used to diffuse the light anymore in terms of an effect onto the ceiling. With this LED strip, you will still get a complete diffused look within that coving, whether it has an extrusion or not. So you wouldn't need an extrusion in that kind of effect where you cannot see the light source direct. Now here is the LED strip in a profile giving a continuous beam of light. Now in some instances, your LED strip may be on show or you may be looking for a complete beam of light. And that is where one of these profiles will be what you are looking for. So I'm gonna go a quick brief view over the ones that we have in stock here. So this is a very shallow, uh, very thin extrusion. This fits our five millimeter LED strip. It gives a complete beam of light. And this is ideal to be installed in very small places. It can even be installed in between tiles because it is only about six or seven millimeters wide. We have an optic lens extrusion. The optic lens extrusion has a clear cover. So no matter what, if you're looking at this, you would be able to see the individual dots. But the benefit of this profile is the cover acts as a lens and while rather than 120 degree beam of the LED strip, it narrows the beam down to 60 degrees. So ideally, if you could have this profile 100 millimeters away from the wall, either in the ceiling or on the floor, shining it upwards or downwards, you would get a wall wash effect more even light throw top to bottom rather than not having a profile. We have another type here, a very shallow profile. This is to offer a complete product look. So if this was under a kitchen cabinet and you're using one of our five or 10 watt strips per meter, you could have a very thin, sleek finished product. It couldn't be, it could, you can't touch the LEDs directly, add some form of protection. And that gives you a complete product look which looks very nice. We have the recessed extrusions here, the deep recessed and the shallow recessed. If you're looking for a complete beam of light, you would go for the deep recessed extrusion. This gives you more chance of a diffusion across the cover here. So when looked at, you'd get a diffused full beam of light. And the shallow recessed is if you're not looking for a complete beam of light, but it's more some form of this could again go under a kitchen cabinet, recess and give a complete even look, finished product to look there. We have a bend of extrusion. So if your LED strip is going around the front of a bar or some kind of surface, you can actually bend the extrusion into place to um, suit any, you can go either way, to suit any project there. So that is the bendable extrusion. We have a deep surface and a thin surface type. Again, these fit up to 12 millimeters wide. So you can fit any of our products, any LED strips into these. Fit these again, offer protection under a bar. The deep surface gives a continuous beam of light. So if you're ever looking for a continuous beam of light, you'd always go for the deeper version, usually around 15 millimeters deep we have 120 LEDs per meter or more, to give you a complete diffused look. We have a corner profile. So this is a full, full beam corner profile there, giving you a very good wash when looked at. We have a plaster in type extrusion. So you can plaster board up to either side of this extrusion giving you just the view of a diffused cover. Great to go into walls, into ceilings. 
here we have a walkover extrusion. Now this is deep enough to give a complete diffused light. This can go externally, this can be walked over, can be driven over. We have a very thin profile again. This is for our 8mm wide strip. This is what we call a deep surface type. So again, this is often you complete diffuse light when looked at. We have a coving light. So this is um, an up or down light coving. So the LED strip can sit in the top there and that can shine up onto the wall. You could have this probably usually around 100 mil up to 300 mil down from your ceiling and that can give complete glow. Now any LED strip can fit into this type and you wouldn't need to necessarily be looking at the strip directly. So you could use any strip, whether it was 60 LEDs, 120 or 240 LEDs a metre and get a very nice even glow. Here we have another wall type. This type has an up and down wall type. So this can go onto a wall and you can have a light shining upwards and also a light shining downwards. We have here a tube surface type. So this light lets light between all three sides, the top, the left and the right hand side there. This is sort of a square type where you could have this surface mounted using nearly any of the LED strips, even the 60 LEDs per meter. Because of the depth of this extrusion, nearly 20 millimeters, you'd get a very good glow, very good even glow and the light will be shining out of all three sides. And here we have a recessed angle extrusion. So this type, let me see if I get the cover off. It looks a square shape, but in the actual cover, it is at an angle. So what you can do with here is you put the LED strip into here, have this away from your wall or recessed into your floor, and it will actually be shining the light back onto the wall. So you can get a glow, you can get a wash, but the light wouldn't be coming out at 180 degrees, it will actually be shining back onto the wall. So I hope that's a bit of an insight into the different profiles. If you have any more questions, give us a call, go onto our website, instyleled.co.uk, or comment away, and we can answer as many questions if you have. Be sure to subscribe,